Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I'm here to do a collective Bath & Body Works haul. I went for the VIP bag on last week, sometimes, I don't even remember, and then today I went to the pumpkin preview party, or event, I shouldn't say party, but I'm going to start off with the bag. You had to spend $30 to get the bag for 20 and during that time they had two for 22 so I just picked up some candles that I was going to exchange whenever the new fall candles came in, and I even asked the manager, I said, can I do that? She goes, of course, you know, why wouldn't you be able to? So I went ahead and did that. I just picked whatever candles, and then I'll talk about the new ones. But then I also picked up this owl. As you know, I love owls. And this is a little owl, and it's actually like a little pocket back holder. And whenever you put the pocket back in it, it glows, which is very tacky. But I thought it's cute because it was a little owl. And then whenever you take the pocket back out, after 20 seconds, the light turns off. That was $12.50, but it's kind of stupid. But I got, um, I picked it up anyway. I think it's adorable because I like owls, but anyway. <laughs> Um, then the VIP bag. The VIP bag came in this bag with this gold bow on it. And inside came the True Blue Mini Shea Cashmere Hand Cream. Now this is the hand cream that I do not like. I like the Shea Cashmere in Silk hand cream. This one smells just very... I don't know. I don't like... I don't like it. It almost smells like a sour milk type of smell. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of it. I mean, it works, but... I mean, it works really good with your hands, but so does the True Blue Spa Shea Cashmere and Silk. So, I don't like this one. I will probably just keep it in my bag in case I ever need something, but... Nothing that I really love. Then it came with a Mini Forever Red EDT. Very exciting. Not... I'm so sick of Forever Red, like they promote it so much. They need to get a new scent, which they are in the fall. Then it came with a just a plain white loofah. And I, if I would have known, I wouldn't have got the last time I went shopping another white one. So I have two white loofahs. It came with, which I only wanted the bag for these two items. The Leaves 4-ounce candle. This is the new one for the year. And this one says, celebrate the brilliant colors of autumn with this rich fall blend of golden nectar, red apple, and spiced berries. And I was really glad that my wick was perfectly centered in this candle, too, because sometimes whenever you get the fall VIP bags and stuff, the wick's off center, but it was, like, perfectly in the center. To me, I love leaves. I really wish they would bring back the hand soap, but they probably never will. This just smells like the best fall scent ever. The best one ever. It has that apple cider type smell, but it's so true to its name. I'm guessing that the, I don't know, the nectar or something makes it just so much better. Like, I absolutely love it. Next in the VIP bag was the full-size Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Hand Sanitizer. So that's what that looks like. And these are like $5. And this is great because right now I have the Sweet Pea one on my desk right now, which I just started like last week. So it's a little bit gone from that. So whenever that one's done, it should be probably ready to put this one out. So I'm excited. I have one of those. Don't have to pick one up. I got the Creamy Pumpkin Antibacterial Deep Cleansing Hand Soap. That's what this one looks like. I'll talk about this one with my other soaps that I got. Then it came out, or then it came out with, then it had last year's Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Lotion and Shower Gel, which I don't really understand why it's last year's packaging. Maybe it's going to keep it the same this year. I don't know. But that's what that looks like. I really like the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, although I prefer Creamy Pumpkin better. I wish they had that in body care. So, on to the fall preview party. I picked up, I did the five, 6 for 20 hand soaps. And the reason why I did the 6 for 20 
and I only have five here, is because the person I went with wanted a pumpkin cupcake soap, so I said, I only want the new ones, and there was only four there, but she wanted one, so I said, we might as well do the six, and um, I just got one duplicate. So I got Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, and that's what that looks like. It's just like a picture of orange pumpkins sitting on like a little blue um, bench. It smells decent. I already washed my hands with this one time I did this morning to try it out. It was okay. Then Pumpkin Cupcake. Now look at how adorable that little cupcake is. The only thing, I wish that they would have used like a pumpkin pie spice on the top of the cupcake instead of like that brown cinnamon. I don't know. I think it would look better with the orange. But does this smell like the candle? In a way, yes, but in a way, no. I don't know how to describe it. It's really, really interesting. Then we have the pumpkin caramel latte. And if you can see in there, do you see how adorable that little face is? It's a little pumpkin. That's why I had to get two of these. Oh, and these are all in the foaming. I mean, how cute. I cannot get over how cute that little pumpkin head is. And this smells just like it did last year in the soap form. Just a great pumpkin scent. A creamy pumpkin type smell. And then the last soap that I got, which was kind of weird because I had one deep cleansing, but not a big deal. I got the creamy pumpkin. It's just a pretty white pumpkin. It's kind of weird because the foaming and the deep cleansing are two different pictures. Pretty interesting, but okay. And this is like the best pumpkin in my opinion, it's that pumpkin, fresh, just like scooped out pumpkin with no cinnamon and a lot of vanilla. It's so super good. Then I got one of each of those in the pocket bag. So there's a sweet cinnamon pumpkin. The pumpkin cupcake. And again, I only have four here, but I did get five and gave one to the, the person who went with me in the pumpkin cupcake. Pumpkin caramel latte. Love that little happy face. Love it, love it, love it. And the creamy pumpkin. So those were those. Now on to the best part of the video. The new candles. They had four candles there. I thought they had five, but they had four. Um, out of all four, one was new. So I'll start with the new one. This was pumpkin apple. And I picked up two pumpkin apple. And this one says... Experience the blend of your two favorite fall scents, apple and pumpkin, enhanced by notes of cinnamon and clove. And to me, this is a very, very generic scent. A very generic pumpkin, very generic apple, mixed together into one candle. Now, the reason why I bought two was because I wanted to burn it and see how it was, but I know I still have a backup to keep in my collection in case... I do like it after it's burning or whatever, and just figured might as well pick it up then. I don't know. I might exchange the other one if this one doesn't do well. It's just, it's so basic. It's something you could find at the grocery store. Not impressed with that one. Pumpkin Caramel Latte. Again, I picked up two of them. I know how this one works. I love it every year. This is Gather with Friends to celebrate the season with this warm, rich blend of creamy pumpkin, spiced caramel, and sweet cream. Now, it's funny because it says latte. Every single year, there's never any coffee in it. Uh, the wicks on this one are those flat wicks, which burn amazing. The pumpkin apple have the thick wicks that are, like, dipped in the wax. And I don't trim as well as, you know, on the first burn, but... This, you immediately get the caramel. That's the first note you get. This is a sweet, sweet caramel. A little bit of pumpkin from that creamy pumpkin. It reminds me, obviously, because there's creamy pumpkin. They have to use the scent that's in there. And then a very strong vanilla. I love pumpkin caramel latte. Absolutely love it. Then we have... My favorite packaging of all of them. The pumpkin cupcake. They got rid of that nasty cinnamon frost or nasty cinnamon coating on the soap. 
And this one says, Satisfy your sweet tooth with the sweet scent of a freshly baked pumpkin cupcake covered in loads of rich buttercream frosting. And this smells just like it did last year. I had one last year, and I actually lit it this morning, and I have it burning all day. And it just smells so good. And I'm glad I burned. I only picked up one of these, so I was glad that I had one from last year that I've been burning so far. Still burns amazing. Love it. This is so good. Not very, very spicy. I mean, there's no spice in here. It says pumpkin cupcake with buttercream frosting. That's what it smells like. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Then the last candle is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. And every year I'm like, this is so basic. Nothing's exciting about this one. I burn it, and I really, really like it whenever I burn it. Then I'm done with it. And I'm like, oh, well, I enjoy it whenever it's burning. So I only got one of those. I might pick up another one. Celebrate pumpkin season with this inviting mixture of Harvest Pumpkin, Sweet Vanilla Cream, and Falls Rich Spices. And again, those are like the same wicks in the pumpkin apple, really thick. And again, this is just a cinnamon pumpkin. You get that nice pumpkin smell. A little bit of vanilla with some strong cinnamon. I really, really, really like that one as well. Um, so that was it that I got. I heard that the fall candles will all be in stores on the 5th, which is Monday. So if that's true and there is a 2 for 22, you will be seeing a fall pumpkin haul. I am off to Yankee Candle's Bony Bunch party this weekend to get all the new Bony Bunch pieces from my collection, as well as I'll make a video on that, too. There's $20 off 45 coupons, so I printed out a bunch of those, because that's what I'm going to use to save some money. And, um... That's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, write, and subscribe. And make sure to that one person who thumbs down my video all the time, I know who you are. You act like I don't know. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I'll talk to you later. Bye!